What's up guys, Alvaro here from Particle School and in this tutorial we'll see how to create our own fam thing and how to simulate it and make it as interacted, animate it and interact with objects in the scene. So we'll create exactly this scene because I just finished recording the tutorial and yeah, let's see how it works. So first of all, I would really recommend you to watch our other tutorials about FAM before doing this one. But like as expected, it's quite simple to make those stuff on Houdini. It looks complex, but it's just a few steps. And you have the you can download the start and end scene on this video description. So we can start from here. We have our FAM thing and a box here which is a ladder in fact it's here we'll drop the poor fan thing from there but let's keep it hidden for now and here on our fan thing let's create some animation so i'll press l to find all of our nodes everything we have here it's um uh, to model the this lug and to animate it uh, you can do any kind of animation and then you will mix with the fam simulation. So I found out, find out that um, ripple animation works really well in this case. So I'll add a ripple here and I will activate it and check it out. It's doing just like this. Mm, let me just uh, decrease this wave decay, increase this wave decay a bit, this way got a bit smoother and I will increase this speed and maybe the number of ripples so yeah let's keep it like this now you have to put a rest animation here to make it work with the fam stuff so just put rest position and put a rest position here let's call it rest Thing. Mm, okay, let's activate it and go. Cool. Now, let's make this fam thing a solid organic tissue and just go here inside the fam thing and we have to put our animation out of the way for now. So it's the ripple and the fam thing. Let's just show you. Here we have the object modeling and here we have the animation and here the fam stuff. So I'll just select both of them, shake it and bring it down and then connect the tetrahedralize to it. This way you can see the doping part which will simulate and it will fall and or the rest thing which is our thing tetrahedralize and animated. So let's keep this one on for a while. I'll press L to organize it a bit better. And cool. Let's create a rigid body ground plane here. This way our thing doesn't keep falling forever. And now inside the auto dot network I'll press L to organize it. Let's find our fam thing. And inside of the geometry tab, we have this rest geometry. It's where we put this rest thing here. So I'll get back there, auto dop, and fam thing. Import rest geometry. You must check this option and then look for the rest thing. So it's here and accept. Now you have the rest thing here. Make sure you have it here. And make sure the import rest geometry is checked on. And now just have to simulate it. Press the up arrow key. And now the, the fam thing is being simulated mixed with your animation, with gravity and everything. But it's not really behaving as expected. So one thing that you can change on the animation here inside the fan thing. Let's have a look on our animation. So it's like this. Let's look from a side view. I'll press Alt 
a spacebar tree and look how it goes if we here on the ripple you have this up direction if we change this value it kind of starts going in an angular way but in fact i want to keep it was by default it was zero one and zero or it wasn't yeah by default it was like this if i put like 1.5 or something it goes this part here it goes like this and it will bring the same thing uh to walk so i'll press out space bar one and eh, space bar one and i will activate this doping part let's see how it goes now i'll just deselect it here deselect this deselect this and it's a bit better but our fan thing it's looking a bit too rigid and fan things are very very soft body things so here inside of the autodop network let's get our fan thing and on model let's decrease its stiffness to 0 0.0001 and the volume stiffness to the same value so .0001 and let's see how it works, how it behaves. So yeah, it's much, it's a bit better. Let's, uh, here on collisions, let's increase its friction a bit. Let's get back here. I'll press spacebar tree to see how it's walking, how much it, it is walking. And yeah, it's moving a lot, but I would like it to be much more soft body like. And yeah, now we're talking. I really like the way it's behaving now. <clears throat> so I'll press spacebar one, don't let it run from me. And I'll hide this ground plane. It will keep it, it keeps working but it's hidden and I will unhide the box one here and now I'll put my same thing I'll press T and move it upwards I'll put it around here just make sure it's not intersecting with the box and this box since it's not animated I should make it a rigid collider if it's animated you use the deforming collider so I'll press L to organize it and let's see how it goes. Yeah, poor fam thing. Yeah, it fell. <laughs> so it keep walking. So yeah, that's it. I hope you like it. Uh, don't forget to like our Facebook page or follow us on our Vimeo account or subscribe to our Vimeo account. This way you really support us and you really keep up to date from news about the simulations world. And thanks guys, that's it. Bye.